Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Thank you very much. If we could quiet ourselves, we'll begin with our program. Well, good afternoon. Anytime we gather as an entire school community, it usually has one primary focus. Whether that would be to pray, which obviously we come then with that mindset of reverence and prayer. Sometimes we gather together to hear, whether it's a speaker or some type of presentation. Other times we gather for a pep session, and other times we gather for games and concerts. Today we get a little bit of all of that. And so I would ask as we go through this dedication. and be reverent. So when it's time to be reverent, my expectation is that you'll be reverent. When it's time to be in prayer, my expectation will be that you'll be in prayer with us together. When it's time to be attentive to our guests and the presentations, my expectation is that you'll give your utmost attention. And when it's time to enjoy the gifts of music that God has blessed us with, my expectation is, again, we'll be attentive. And then at the end, when it's time to let this gym be rocking and rolling with spirit, my expectation is you'll do that as well. So again, it's, it's an unusual day. Obviously, that goes without saying. But as we hit the different parts of the program, I trust, again, that your response will be appropriate. So again, welcome to Ron Colley High School Ascension St. Vincent Gymnasium. On behalf of the students, teachers, and staff, I say to you, what a wonderful day to be a rebel and something we can always look back to we're a part of. To our guests, and there are a variety of guests that Dr. Hollowell is going to share with us, we thank you for being a part of our special day. At this time, it is my delight to introduce to you our president, Dr. Hollowell. Good afternoon. What an awesome early Christmas present we're blessed to enjoy today. The gymnasium that we're sitting in represents the work of hundreds, hundreds of people, hundreds of people that care about you, hundreds of people that care about Roncalli. This work started back in 2012. We signed a contract, that's seven years ago, signed a contract with CR Stafford and Associates our architect, and we have been working uh, diligently for the past seven years to get this done. While the design was going on, we began to raise money in 2016. The fundraising involved over 100 volunteers, some of whom are here, some are here on the, the floor with us, others are in the stands with us, volunteers that went out and asked people, showed them the plans, invited them to invest in the future of young people. Hundreds and hundreds of gifts came in. In fact, over 1,500 gifts, commitments to this campaign came in. We raised over $7.8 million. The gymnasium that you're currently sitting in, as the result of those 1,500 benefactors, seats over 2,000 people. It's our plan that this gymnasium will serve our community and serve thousands and thousands and thousands of people over the next 50 years. So it's a great gift to our community, and I hope it sends a message to you, the young people that are here, folks that have made this happen, many of them aren't even gonna have sons and daughters uh, that will ever be in here. There are people that gave something because they want to give a gift to the future, to provide for the needs of the world, to provide for the needs of the young church. And so as Mr. Weisenbach said, we are here to do several things today. First of all, we're going to pray for God's blessing on this building and for the many thousands of people who will be here over the next 50 years to use it. 
Joining us, I'd like to ask you to give him a very special welcome. The Vicar General of the Archdiocese is Monsignor Stumpf. Monsignor is here. He wanted me to tell you that Archbishop Thompson is on his ad limina visit in Rome and will not be back here until the end of the week. So Monsignor Stumpf, would you please rise and let us welcome you. Joining Monsignor Stumpf is also a person that we very much consider to be an alumnus of Roncalli. She graduated from Sacred Heart High School. She's serving as the Chancellor of the Archdiocese of Indianapolis, and she will be participating in our prayer service by leading a, uh, a reading of scripture for us. But please welcome back to Roncalli, Mickey Lentz. Mickey? If I introduced everybody that's sitting here on these chairs, uh, we'd be here way too long. But I do want to extend a very special welcome also to the Dean of the Indianapolis South Deanery. There are 14 parishes in the South Deanery that make up our South Deanery in Indianapolis. The Archbishop appoints a pastor to represent him in, uh, when, the, when the Archbishop can't be there. He can't be everywhere at once. So all of our deaneries have a dean, and we're very, very blessed to work with uh, a very, very fine man. He's the pastor of Holy Name Parish, and you've seen him many times here at Mass and hearing confession. But Father Bob Robeson, would you please stand and let us thank you for it. Once we're done praying, which we will start here very shortly, we're going to celebrate with song through the God's grace and the gift of Mr. Newton and his students. We're going to have our first ever pep rally. The family room has got to feel like a family room. You don't have a Ron Colley family room without a Ron Colley family pep rally. We're going to take care of that first, and we're going to close with our fight song. But as we move into our prayer, I'm going to tell you one more snippet of history here. What we commission here today and dedicate and pray that God blesses here today in 2019 started back 1994, Archbishop Daniel Beekline was our Archbishop at that time. Archbishop Beekline had just arrived in Indianapolis maybe a couple of years before, and in 1993, he launched a project in which all of our Catholic high schools were to develop master facility plans. This last piece of it, you know, we, we added about 25 classrooms. We added a media center. Uh, we revised our stadium and, and put in a new track. We doubled the size of the campus as a result of those plans that Archbishop Beekline had launched us on. Back when we started this fundraising effort in 2016, I went to see Archbishop Beekline, who at that time was in the infirmary at St. Minerid Seminary and, and, and Abbey. And I went to him and I told him, I showed him the plan that we did back in 1994. I said, Archbishop, I'm not sure if you even remember launching this, but I want to let you know we are standing here 20 plus years later at the last step of something that you got started. And I asked him, I knew we wanted to have a prayer that we would share at all of our campaign meetings with all of our campaign volunteers, that we would share with our students, which we did several times over, over the PA as I had uh, morning prayer on Thursdays. And it's a prayer that Archbishop Beekline wrote and He's very near and dear to my heart. He ordained one of, one of my sons to the priesthood. He had a vision for what should happen at a Catholic high school and got us started on a journey uh, that in many ways culminates at least facility-wise today. And I'm always very grateful to have known and worked under Archbishop Beekline, and I remember him today and share with you right before our prayer service uh, the prayer that Archbishop Beekline wrote. And he said, Dear Heavenly Father, we praise you and we thank you for all the blessings we have received from our faith and for the faith of the Roncalli family. With your blessing, Lord, we have accomplished much in the last 20 years of our journey. The Sacred Heart Chapel, the Fine Arts Center, over 30 new classrooms, the STARS Resource Center, our stadium, track, and media center. 
how good you have been to us. Now we humbly ask for continued blessings on Ron Colley's growing family, a new family room, a kitchen and cafeteria expansion for hungry students, and additional classrooms for excellence in learning. We borrow our prayer from friends. Dear God, open our ears to hear your word. Open our eyes to see the need around us. Open our minds to know your will. Open our hearts in generosity. St. John Roncalli, we ask for your intercession to plead our case before God and our many friends in heaven. Amen. Monsignor Stumpf, Mr. Newton, Mrs. Lentz, we're going to start with our prayer service. Please remain quiet. Before Archbishop left on his ad limited visit to Rome, he asked that Mickey and I also pass along to all of you his words of congratulations. He is so proud of all that you have accomplished, so very proud of your school. And I know it's very much an honor for both Mickey and I to be with you here this afternoon for this wonderful dedication. So let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. God has given us our physical powers in order that we may serve him joyously, help one another, and by discipline and accord with the law of God, make our body fit for every good work. God therefore approves of recreation for the relaxation of the mind and the exercise of the body. Care of our bodies fosters mental well-being and we more readily establish friendly and affable relations with other people.
brothers and sisters, listen to the words of the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Do you not know that the runners in the stadium all run in the race, but only one wins the prize? Run so as to win. Every athlete exercises discipline in every way. They do it to win a perishable crown, but we an imperishable one. This I do not aimlessly do. Thus I say, I do not fight as if I were shadow boxing. No, I drive my body and I train it for fear that after having preached to others, I myself should be disqualified. The word of the Lord. Our God is a God of great providence, and so in confidence, we can always lift up to him our needs and intercessions, and so now we lift up to him our petitions this day. For the safety and protection over all who participate and attend the gatherings in this gymnasium for years to come, that those competitions, masses, pep rallies, and community events may be watched over by God the Father and the communion of saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Spirit will fill the hearts of those who compete here and remind them in their quest for victory that all they do is for the glory and honor of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in the Roncalli community who have laid a 50-year foundation for us, and those who have given so that this project could be possible, that God's grace may be poured out upon them and fill them with the spirit of St. John the 23rd. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as we bless this space, may we who are humbled by the blessings God has given us be moved to pour out those blessings on those who are less fortunate in our world. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gathering all those needs together now, let us ask God's blessing. Lord, we sing your praises without ceasing. You rule over all things with wonderful order. You temper the cares and burdens of our toil. And by giving us rest and healthy re recreation, you refresh our weary bodies and minds. We entreat your kindness that this place and its facilities will contribute to leisure activities that renew the spirit and strengthen mind and body. Grant that all who meet here may find the enrichment of companionship and together offer you the praise that you are due. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we will bless this new facility with holy water. May God, who brings light to our minds and strength to our bodies, guide us in all we do, so that each day we may find gladness and friendship. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. At this time, we are going to have what we would call a formal ribbon cutting. I know we have some students that are involved in that. They're back here. Our, uh, we worked with, well, Monsignor Stumpf, you're not quite done yet. <laughs> Therese Carson. If you want to distribute those scissors to students and any board members that would like to help us. Okay, appreciate. On the count of three, or on the lead of Monsignor Stump. One, two, three. This gymnasium is now open for business.
destiny. Back in the days, we wanted everything, wanted everything. Mama said, bring your biographies, we read your history, light up your wildest dreams, museum victories. Every day, we wanted everything, wanted everything. Mama said, don't give up, it's a little complicated, all tied up.
show now it's done. We're gonna do a little We Got Spirit. Yes, we do. We're gonna start with juniors and seniors. We're gonna send it to sophomores and freshmen on three. One, two, three. Give your battle cry. 
Summer, Summers, don't be shy. Stand and give your battle cry. Juniors, Juniors, don't be shy. Stand and give your battle cry. Seniors, Seniors, don't be shy. Stand and give your battle cry. Rebels, Rebels, don't be shy. Stand and give your battle cry. Sophomores, stay seated, please. 